India, the elephant's tremendous strength has been harnessed for many labors. Sort of skin-covered jeeps. And although they work for peanuts, they never complain. Well, uh, almost never. Now, once there was a little elephant, Bobo by name, who was very discontented with his lot. Bobo, because he was little, was given little logs to carry. But he knew as he got bigger and bigger, he would be given bigger and bigger logs. To Bobo, his future looked very dark. Oh, much darker than that. There, that's more like it. When he thought of the rut he was in, Bobo would get very mad and would trumpet angrily. Oh, Bobo, you're madder than that. One day, Bobo received a letter from his Uncle Jumbo, who was with a circus in America. Uncle Jumbo wrote about the fine time that he was having and enclosed some snapshots. Oh, boy, the circus. Baseball. Little Bobo could just imagine himself on the baseball team. Well, that clinched it. Bobo decided to pack his trunk and go to America on the first boat out. It was brought to Bobo's attention that this boat did not solicit elephant patronage. Bobo felt very hurt when he fell down on his first attempt. Well, of course, one doesn't have to go up the gangplank. There's always another way to get on a boat. And if one way doesn't work, there's always another way. way Bobo. Better try something else. Well, any other elephant would give up about this time, but not Bobo. Finally discouraged, Bobo was about to give up when a little minor bird came along. The minor bird is native to India and is about four inches tall. Uh, about five inches tall. The minor bird told Bobo that he was doing it all wrong. He should paint himself pink if he wanted to get on the boat. Bobo would try anything once and hurried off to paint himself. Of course, the minor bird knew that no one would ever admit that they actually see a pink elephant. Bobo was a little skeptical of this new idea and timidly started past the guard, who apparently didn't see him. Or maybe he did. Bobo found that his new color let him have the run of the boat. And although he couldn't understand it, he accepted it as due him as a passenger. Although navigation was not Bobo's strongest point, the captain allowed him a turn at the wheel. The passengers also proved to be very friendly. They would share their meals with Bobo. And even their beds. The trip from India is a long, long voyage. And most everyone makes it by boat. But little Bobo, being different, made it mostly by rail. One day, America, the land of the free, the home of the Braves, the Dodgers, the Yankees, the circuses. Oh, yes, those circuses. In going through the customs, Bobo felt a little hurt. His was the only trunk the customs officers wouldn't inspect. In fact, they wouldn't even touch it. After being treated so kindly on the boat, Bobo was surprised that the city people acted so strangely to him. They wouldn't answer him when he asked where the circus was. They ignored him completely and seemed actually anxious to avoid him. Even the kiddies acted strangely. Sad and tired from his futile search, 
Bobo sat down on a curb to rest. When suddenly... That did it. The crowning insult. Washing his beautiful color off. But lo and behold, Bobo, who had been invisible to everyone, suddenly became the object of a lot of attention. An elephant! Elephant! Help! Elephant! Elephant! Help! 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 Bobo felt that he would never be able to hold up his trunk again. Bobo fearfully awaited the judge's decision. Would he get 10 years? 20? There was talk about some kind of a chair. Suddenly the judge started to speak. And he gave Bobo a life sentence. With the circus. The circus? Well, that's the answer to the $64 question. Pray for little Bobo. He made good. He's with the circus and on the baseball team. He is now the official Bat Boy. Bat Boy, Schmat Boy, I'm still carrying logs.